What's up, what's up, my fellow Eagles fans? What's up, what's up? It's your boy Roy back again with another episode of the Preaching to the Birds podcast. We like to bring you the latest and breaking Eagles news as it comes to... And today, honestly, we got to talk about some Eagles slash Giants news. We got to talk about the bum ass franchise known as the Giants and, and, and why Saquon Barkley is fortunate to get the hell out of there and why the Giants are just a trash, just absolutely trash organization. Realistically speaking, Joe Shum, your days are numbered, bro. Your days are numbered. And I'm really happy that Saquon Barkley is going to be part of the reason why you are getting your ass canned, bro. Canned. They just just listening to this video. Listening to this video fires me up, bro. I've been up since 12 a.m. in the morning Pacific Standard Time because I'm I'm from California, baby. I'm, but I'm an Eagles fan, and I've been up since 12. I'm actually I was actually tired before I started recording the video. I just had to record the video because I ain't recorded in a while. And realistically speaking, I miss y'all people. I miss my peeps, man. My real Eagles fans. I just been, I ain't gonna lie to you. I just spend time with my girl, just chilling. Cause you know, you gotta relax, recover sometimes during the off season for this long season. You gotta make sure that you're right with everything. And I've been getting right. But with that being said, this video got me hyped though. If you haven't seen this Giants video with Joe Shun talking about his opinion on Saquon Barkley, then I'ma let you see it right now. I just think all the teams that need a running back are gonna look at Saquon. Do you feel good about eating three to four million for a fifth round pick? Like I wouldn't. I don't know. I'm not. There's no guarantee. We there's can. no guarantee you could trade him. Nigga, that's Saquon Barkley. <laughs> so you know, having the needs that we have in a, a twelve million dollar, twenty seven year old running back. Trading Saquon is a Hail Mary. And the drama and all that goes with it, we did that last year. It's 10 years off my life dealing with it. <laughs> Emotionally, was draining. He about to lose 20 years off his life. This Saquon Barkley thing works out with the Eagles. Watch what I say. 20 years off his miserable life. We spent a lot of time on it. But again, I don't want that to be the reason that we don't do what's best for the franchise. Okay, so to take this step further, we lose Saquon, right? What's our identity going to be on offense now? Like, what's our plan to, what's the next step of that? I guess is what I'm thinking. Like, we're losing yeah, well, a, large, never a large part of our offense, our explosiveness, our touchdowns. Quarterback, if it's Daniel, depends on the run game. We're going to upgrade the offensive line, and you're paying the guy $40 million. It's not to hand the ball off to a $12 million back. My plan is address the offensive line at some point here in free agency. We're sitting at six. There's a chance there's an offensive weapon there. This is the year for Daniel. Plan all along was give him a couple years. Is he our guy for the next 10 years, or do we need to pivot and you know, find somebody else? Now, look. Contrary to popular belief, I'm going to be on 100 with you. They made some really good moves in free agency. The Giants made some really good moves in free agency. They actually did what they said they were going to do in free agency by getting old linemen. In total, they got four old linemen. But the one that I'm really, really excited for them to get is John Runyon Jr., formerly from the Packers. He was a stud. He had a 92.1 pass block grade, according to ESPN stats, from the Packers, man. And, you know, you saw how well the Packers did in the playoffs, destroying the Cowboys and stuff like that. So I'll give it to him. I'll give it to him. And they went out and got a receiver in the league neighbor, so I think has an opportunity to really be a difference maker. He really has an opportunity to be a difference maker. He reminds me a lot of Odell Beckham Jr. when he came out of LSU. I think he's going to be the next great thing out of LSU. 
besides Justin Jefferson and Jamar Chase. But the thing is, Joe Schumann, and the reason why you will probably be getting canned at the end of the season is this. Your staff member told you what it was. He said, I quote, Saquon Barkley. He told you what it was. He said, Saquon Barkley is our identity. What are we going to do without Saquon Barkley on the team? What are we going to become? Another member of your staff said, Daniel Jones feeds off the run game, bro. And I wish, just like a lot of Giants fans probably are wishing, that you had listened to these people, man. Your offense solely relied on Saquon Barkley, baby. He's, they slowly relied on Saquon Barkley. And without Saquon Barkley, Daniel Jones has to figure it out himself. Now, mind you, that's your plan, right? But the problem is this, man. Do you know how bad a team has to be to get a top quarterback? And if you do that badly, or if you don't do that badly and you have to mortgage everything to get that quarterback, how long it takes for your franchise to rebuild by giving up all that draft capital, man. So like I started in the video, Joe Shum, you better pray to God. That Saquon Barkley gets hurt because if he doesn't and he goes for 1,200 yards like I think he can, I'm not predicting that. I'm not going to make any predictions here or any bets or whatever. I think with this line, with Lane Johnson, Cam Jurgens, Jordan Mailata, Landon Dickerson paving the way, I think Saquon Barkley can legitimately get up to 1,200 yards rushing. Just rushing. I think he can get it up to 14, 1600 yards, all purpose yards, baby. I think he can really do it. We saw what Tony Pollard did. We saw what Tony Pollard did his last season with Kellen Moore as his OC. Why can't why can't our guy Saquon Barkley do better than that with a better O lineman? Please tell me why. Please tell me, because we got better linemen all across the board than the Cowboys have. I'm sorry. Just being honest, the year Tony Pollard did his best with Kellen Moore, we got better pieces. I'm sorry. There's no doubting that. Why can't why can't we do better? I believe he can, and I'm telling you facts. If Joe Schumann, if if this if this brother Saquon Barkley stays healthy. If Daniel Jones falls off a cliff, you falling with him, baby. I'm telling you. I don't care that you didn't draft him. We don't care about that. We care about results, baby. You thought that nobody was going to be in the market for Saquon Barkley? He was just a $12, $13 million running back. He's a playmaker, baby. He had a couple notable suitors, not just the Eagles. The Texans was in it, too. So if, 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 if this brother does really well, is it for you, baby. Is it. But that's all I really got for y'all today. I hope you're having a good day. Got something to do for my father. I hope you're having a good, you know, weekend. Sorry I didn't say anything or have any, a, a video posted for uh, our Independence Day. But, you know, I hope we all have some good fathers out here. I know I got me one. All right, peace, love.